Hello YouTube. Right now I'm going to be doing a remake video on how to root your Dell Streak 5 running on the 2.2 Froyo firmware, uh, the AT&T version. And the reason I'm making a remake is because the other video seemed a little bit choppy and I moved um, the camera a lot so yeah. So you're going to need to download uh, Super One Click, the 1.7 version. I'll go ahead and have a link on the description for you guys so you can download it. And then um, you're going to go to your phone. You need to have it extracted and stuff like that. You know the routine. So go to your phone and then you're going to go ahead and go to settings. Once you're in settings, go ahead and go to applications, development, and make sure USB debugging is checkmarked. And then that's it for your phone for now. Then you're going to go to your computer. And you're going to open up the, the software you downloaded, which is the Super One Click 1.7. Um, I have it right here. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and... Uh, let me just go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Uh, wait for it to focus. You're going to go ahead and right-click on it and make sure to run as administrator. And then you go ahead and allow. Once you have that, go ahead and, um, for those of you who go through this process and it does not work for you guys, you get a little failed sign, um, go ahead and go to the tab here where it says Samsung Captivate, and then you go ahead and click on it, and then you go ahead and, and click Get Unlocked, um, oops, Get Unlocked, forgot to unplug my phone, Get, uh, get Unlocked Code, and then, um, run it. It will not unlock your Dell Streak, however, it will somehow trigger the universal routing. I know because on mine, I didn't need to do that. However, on my friends, she came over and brought me her, her Dell, and I needed to run the Samsung Captivate unlock code thing. So once you do that, this looks a bit blurry, I wonder why. Um, go ahead and click on this. Make sure you click on this one where it says Rage Against the Cage. It keeps focusing in and out. So once that's done, go ahead and um, plug in your device onto... I'm using the OtterBox case. Plug in your device. Once your device is plugged in, go ahead and... I'm going to zoom out. Or should I zoom in? Go ahead and click Root. And then it will take you through the process of rooting. Some, um, sometimes it'll just get stuck where it says uh, reading OS version properties. Uh, just go ahead and leave it by itself. It'll go ahead and um, it'll go through eventually. Like it takes within, sometimes it'll take one, one minute or two minutes. Sometimes it's even up to five minutes. So um, just go ahead and leave your phone connected. Make sure you do not mount your phone. Um, onto your computer so that um, if you mount it, it will not go through at all. <clears throat> then you'll get a little pop-up message saying that your 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 root files have been installed. Would you like to run a test? I don't. I didn't run a test. The only way I found out that it was actually rooted was through the ScreenIt um, application, the screenshots. You can't take screenshots unless your phone is rooted. So I actually have that on my phone and I ran, ran um, I clicked on it and, and went through. So before I did this, I clicked on it and it asked me for a rooted device. Now, if you want to go ahead and, and allow non-market applications to be downloaded to your phone, um, go ahead and click on this one that says allow non-market apps click on it it requires for you to do the rooting first and then you go ahead and um, click on that one so you can allow um, third-party applications and if you would like to root for a single day I guess or until your next power um, shutdown you click show root this will root your phone and then once your phone once you turn on off your phone and then back on the root will be gone so if you want a temporary rooting um, just click on shell root 
and uh, that's basically it, 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 I'm sorry about that, and then let me just show you what I mean about the, the screenshot applications, um, I have it right here, I'm just going to click on it and do a little screenshot, I'll take five seconds. And then save. And there you go. It does come out. Uh, there's some settings you need to fix in order for that not to happen. But um, there's another version called Screenshoot something that you can get for screenshots. However, um, they're all required rooting. So that's it. Um, that's how you root your phone. I know this application works for several of the Android uh, based devices. I know it works on the Nexus 1, it works on the Droid, and the Evo. And right now I'm currently going to do it on my... I will be doing this on my my Tish 4G. I'll go ahead and do a video on it and upload it for you guys. So that's it. So don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and y'all have a good day and good luck.